Welcome to part two of my VHS and Beta Horror Collection video. Now, some of these are sci-fi horror, some of these are action horror, comedy horror. But let's move along. Deep Space. This is not an X-Rental. The tape is totally unmarked. I bought it from Bob at um, just down the road here, about 20, about 10 kilometers down the road. Not a bad film. Insect's better, and here's Insect. Released about the same time. I've got to admit, I have, do have a soft spot for the RCA uh, Hoyts TriStar, whatever you hell call it. RCA Columbia Pictures Hoyts videos with the silver case and the uh, funny coloured uh, labels. That was a great time. 87, 88, 89. Definitely a good time back then. We rented a heap of tapes back in that day. God, it was huge. Love the cover art for this one. Don't have time to show you the tapes on most of these films, unfortunately. I want to keep these short because I've got them on, on a high quality setting when I record these these videos. Monkey Shines, Maximum Overdrive, of course. Now the last other one, last lot here are Critters, the original tape, and two copies of Pulse, the ultimate shocker. Getting fried to a crisp. Now. An American and an Australian release, Trilogy of Terror Double. Great little films, those. Now, here is a Warner Brothers Video Gems re release of Motel Hell. I thought this was an original, but it's not. It can't be. Because there's eight years difference between the pro program content when the film was made and when this was released. Now, Deep Star 6, sci science fiction horror creature feature combination. Great movie. Now, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 1 and 2. As we continue on, we've got this lovely one here. Thorny Am I of Amateurville 2. I've got two copies of this one. And this, I believe, was in... Th this one or another film, I think, was uh, in actually shown in, H in 3D um, on the Japanese VHD format, which was an optical disc format back then. Jaws 3 I know was. I'd love to get that. And I'll show you the tape of this one because this one's pretty old. This is from 83. Bit of damage here. Got one sticker from Metro Video. That's about it. Still got the distributed by Video Classics sticker on the front there. I actually really like this film even though it's not part of the... doesn't really match with the uh, others. Like it's not a sequel to, to those other ones. I love it actually, it's pretty cool and of course Meg Ryan's in it, I like Meg Ryan. Okay, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the lovely k release. Now the bottom here, we have the original tape of Prophecy. This is the national tape, I can tell by the labelling on the one E90 there, I, I can tell. Um, pretty much unmarked. It's got a Metro Video label, so it was an X rental, but man, that's in mint nick for something that came out in 7980 for rental. That's nuts. That's when we started, we start, first started uh, renting tapes when uh, Wood, the Woodville video store was open. I walked in there one day with my old man, and there was like about 600 tapes total for rent, and that's when we first saw Jaws. That was on this label, actually, the CIC release label. It was just like the Jaws was just like that, and I'll show you the Jaws 2 version I've got of that too, which is pretty good. Okay, Home Sweet Home on the media label. Hard to find these days, I'd say. Definitely. This is in a new a new case too, by the way. I'm not sure what the hell they used with the original medias back in the day. I really don't know. And I drink your blood. Now, over here we ha I have Stepfather 1 and 2. Unfortunately, for some reason, Stepfather 1 was released on the Virgin label. Um, what's this one from? I'm not sure. Should, oh, there's a, it is a Virgin release. Sorry, my mistake. Silly fool. It was the same release. That's good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I forget things sometimes. Gee, I must be getting old. 
Okay, now we have two American tapes here. This is whatever happened to Aunt Alice. Aunt Alice, you idiot. <laughs> Aunt Alice, collector's edition widescreen. Now, on the inside of these slicks, there's actually information about the films. Which is quite cool, I reckon. I like Anchor Bay. If it wasn't for Anchor Bay, the car, um, the car movie wouldn't be on video ever. Cue the Winged Serpent. I, I don't mind this film, but I've got to admit, Michael Moriarty is not a very good actor. He pisses me off sometimes. I think Ozzy Roadshow was the same. I like David Carradine and Richard Roundtree, but friggin' hell, Michael Moriarty, god damn. He's really annoying to watch. He's okay sometimes, but most of his films, man, oh god. It drives you nuts. Okay, The Fog. This is from blackstar.co.uk in Ireland. It was the first widescreen VHS I ever got, and this is from about maybe five to eight, nine years ago. Uh, am I, oh, here we go, yeah, 11, 11 years ago. I was a bit off. Now, Forefront Video was what they what they were called back in the day. They were, they were the guys that were, I think were releasing a lot of the uh, uh, Universal stuff. Incubus and Rosemary's Killer, the original... Uh, these are not the original covers, they're, they're photocopies of the original, so I didn't have... I had the tapes, but I didn't have an original slick, and somebody did, but he wouldn't let me have them. Um, it was a guy who used to have a video store here in, in town. Um, so I just photocopied them, and then cut them down into this. So, not very good, sadly. I like the originals. Now here's The Beast Must Die, and this one's faded a bit, and I think this is actually was originally a cardboard sleeve, because you can tell by the back. The back's just a piece of card. Not bad. Now, this one's... I'm not sure if this is a horror or not. Let's have a look on the back here. No, haunting drama of love, jealousy and murder. No, this, but this tape here, some people have been after this one that I know. Not on YouTube though, and uh, it's rare as hell to find. Not really, I would say, not a horror, but I just thought I'd show you it because it's quite rare. Here's one on the Video Classics label. I still haven't watched this film actually. This is the Betamax. Beast from 20,000. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here now? Evan Ghost Story. Ah, uh, Ghostbusters, ah, uh, shit. Back to the beach, don't like that. Alright, I'll have to go over to this section. I've got about one minute to go and then I'm, I'm going to do another video. I want to split these up. I don't want to have some one gigabyte size bloody video to, to upload. That'd take freaking ages. Alright, we'll get into here and have a look around. There you go, guys. A nice slow pan for you. Love this one. I need, I need the unrate, I need the uncut version. Full uncut, so hopefully. Amateurville Horror from Britain. Good, excellent, excellent quality prints uh, from from Britain, by the way. The car, the most pos the most prized VHS tape in this whole shed. Widescreen, nice. Didn't mind this film, actually, not bad. Firestarter, yeah, beautiful. Re-release of Venom. Dawn of the Dead from the UK. Director's Cut. This is a great friggin' movie. The re-release is a joke. My Bloody Valentine. Alright. Betamax copy. And definitely the original release. Ghost Story. I'm going to get this on Laserdisc too. This is a copy, this is an original tape. But it's actually a uh, copy of a cover I got from Atlantic Video. Alright, that's it for this video. I'm going to continue on with part three. Thanks for watching guys.